everyone, thanks for stopping by. I have another Aldi haul for you today. I went kind of spur of the moment. I had no list or anything. Um, I had to go to the bank and get my debit card fixed because it wasn't working and I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to go today and whatever. So I went and I will show you what I got. There's not a really big plan of what I'm having this week so I still have to put together a meal plan. Um, starting up here, I have a can of cream and mushroom soup. This I do have a plan for because I have a roast in the refrigerator that I'm going to be cooking this week. Um, my daughter said she wanted Jello, so I got a box of Jello, and um, I got four big avocados. They are still on special. They're only um, I think 59 cents each, so I got four of those. I got a container of whipped cream cheese, and I also got some bagels, which are over here somewhere that you'll see. Two mangoes. These were on sale for like 60 cents each, I believe. Two big bags of apples, a bag of Honeycrisp, and a bag of Pink Ladies, a can of peas, a can of organic tomato sauce, three packages of the quinoa rice blend. These are all different flavors. I got a rosemary olive oil. Oh, I got two rosemary olive oil. That was a mistake. I meant to get, um, they had like a red pepper one, a roasted red pepper one. But I got two rosemary olive oil and then a garlic basil. Um, I made these last week, I think it was, to go with one of our dinners, and I liked it, and the kids really liked it too, so um, I picked up a few more of those. I have two containers of organic chicken stock. I'm going to be making some chicken tortilla soup this week, and I needed that for that. A big bag of organic kale. I was super excited to see this back because they haven't had it for quite a long time and I like it in smoothies and my husband likes to just eat it. And it was really inexpensive too. It was only like $1.70 or something. They only had one bag left or I would have got more. A bag of spinach. A package of turkey burgers. Somebody here on YouTube said that they are really good and to give them a try. So I'm going to give them a try. I have some buns in the freezer. So I'm going to try to make turkey burgers one night. I have a package of pasta just to make with this pasta sauce here. I um, have, I am watching some children during the week and they will be here for dinner, so I'm gonna make pasta. And a bag of multi-grain chips, my daughter already opened those. Some veggie straws, um, some salsa. The salsa is actually not for the chips, the salsa goes into the um, chicken tortilla soup that I'm gonna be making. A uh, gallon of milk. A big bag of the little mandarin oranges, a container of coconut milk. I'm gonna try that in my smoothies. I usually put almond milk in them if I'm making like a creamier type of smoothie. Um, but I am trying to do a smoothie every day between now and my birthday, so I'm trying out new flavors and things, which I'm kind of disappointed I forgot to get bags of frozen fruit. I'm gonna have to go probably back out and get some because I think I'm gonna run out before the end of the week. But um, I got a container of half and half. There's the blueberry bagels I was talking about. A loaf of whole wheat bread. Um, a big thing of cauliflower that was only $1.99. I got a package of grapes. There are some bananas under here. A package of organic carrots. Some green beans. I got two packages of these like instant mashed potatoes. When I make that roast, I personally really like mashed potatoes with my roast and it's just not roast beef to me unless I have mashed potatoes with it. My husband doesn't like them. So since, well, I shouldn't say he doesn't like them. He's trying not to eat potatoes right now. He's like, if he's trying to watch what he's eating and be healthy, the first thing he cuts is carbs and it just kills me because I love them. But um, potatoes is one of the first things to go. So he doesn't really want mashed potatoes with his. So I just picked these up for me to go with it. My kids don't like mashed potatoes either. So there you have it. I'm not peeling and cooking a bunch of potatoes for me to have mashed potatoes, so I just got it instant. <laughs> I got a box of these 90 calorie Fibronel cinnamon coffee cake bars. I really like these for when I'm craving something sweet. Um, the sea salt pita crackers, those are always on the list. My husband likes those for snacks at work. I got a can of red kidney beans and let's see, I thought that was something else. The kidney beans go in my chicken tortilla soup. Um, some pears in a can, some dill pickles. I picked this up, this was new, this was in their like special item section that they don't normally carry. 
It is um, organic super fruit spread. It's like a jelly, but it has cherries and blueberries and pomegranates. I like to put a little bit of jelly in my um, like plain yogurt just to sweeten it up a bit. Um, and my favorite is blueberry. And then I put some blueberries in it and like some shaved coconut and it's really, really delicious. So I got this for myself. And a package of blueberries here. Can of corn. A package of, I know I'm really close, I'm sorry about that. Um, a package of macaroni and cheese. Underneath my blueberries, I have a package of turkey. My husband likes to snack on that. A, pack, a can of black beans, this is also for my soup. A dozen eggs, some cheese sticks for the kiddos. Um, these green lentils, I really like these. They don't always have these and I haven't seen them at my Aldi for a very long time. So I picked up a bag of these. I like to cook this um, with ham in the crock pot. Didn't get any ham, but I'm gonna just put these in the pantry and make them later. A uh, package of cheddar cheese. I got this for those turkey burgers. A package of um, the Never Any ham. Usually I get the Black Forest ham, I think. I feel like I do anyway. But this is the honey ham, so I got that. This is the only kind of lunch meat that my son will eat. So I usually like if I make him a grilled cheese sandwich, I'll sneak that on there. Some bacon. I also got some turkey bacon, but I'm pretty sure it's buried in here somewhere. I'm sorry, it's such a mess in my kitchen right now. But, uh, I did like this. <laughs> uh, chicken quinoa kale ravioli. I was hungry. This sounded interesting. So I picked up these. Those were like a special item that I don't normally have. Um, a package of jello with peaches in it. My daughter wanted these like really bad, so I wasn't trying to protest her today. I just wasn't in the mood for a meltdown. Um, I don't know why she wants jello today, but that's what she asked for. A package of the fit and active cheese just to have on hand for whatever. And some of the Mexican style corn. This will also go into my soup. A can of regular old tomato soup. I'm going to make probably grilled cheese and tomato soup for the kids this week. And oh, oh, we're back at the beginning where the cream of mushroom was. So that is my grocery haul for this week. And I will figure out the rest of the meal plan and I will share it with you in just a few moments. Okay, so here is the meal plan for the week. This is not in any particular order because there's some things that have changed since I've written this down. So things are going to move around. But um, we're going to be having chicken tortilla soup with cheese quesadillas, pot roast with mashed potatoes and veggies, chicken paprikash over rice with some vegetables, chicken kale ravioli with a side salad, pasta with just a red sauce and salad and garlic bread, chicken breast with uh, quinoa and roasted radishes. And that is the meal plan for this week. And I look forward to seeing you in my next one.